The Montreal SPCA is taking aim at a fur farm and the Quebec government. The animal rights group found dozens of mink and foxes being kept in what it calls horrific conditions. They say they were crammed into boxes, had open wounds and no access to clean water. The organization wants criminal charges laid, but as Paula Samuel reports, the province is taking a wait-and-see approach and a warning you may find some of the images in this story difficult to watch. The pictures are heart-wrenching. More than 100 foxes and minks neglected and mistreated, stuck in excrement-filled cages with no access to clean water or medical care. Um, and that the cages are absolutely insufficient to meet their needs, that they're causing uh, cuts and broken toes, and so it's a little difficult to imagine. The SPCA went to inspect the farm just south of Montreal after receiving an anonymous tip. They say they've been struggling to get the provincial government to confiscate the animals. So we tried to reach out to the minister, um, reach out to everybody that we could, have got no response, and we felt that these animals were really, truly suffering. It's an urgent situation. Their lives are in danger. It's impossible to know just how many fur farms there are in the province. The industry isn't very tightly regulated in Quebec. In fact, this province is one of the only ones in the country where you don't need a permit to operate a fur farm. The fur from the animals is harvested and sold, usually to the fashion industry. Up to 100,000 animals are killed for their fur in Quebec every year. Quebec has notoriously lax animal cruelty laws. In 2009, Cabinet Minister Jeff Kelly chaired a committee on animal abuse to address the issue. I think it's something we have to look at very carefully. I was not familiar with uh, the existence of milk farms in Quebec before the stories, the very troubling images we saw. In the meantime, 16 Arctic foxes have been seized, but the government says they won't seize any more. Instead, they'll work with the owner to improve the animal's conditions. Devine says that's unacceptable. Giving the opportunity to correct the situation is really not an appropriate way to apply the law. It's, it's discretion and it's abusive discretion. The SPCA is pushing for criminal charges to be laid against the owners and to have the fur farm closed, but that could prove to be a difficult uphill battle. Paula Samuel, Global News, Montreal.